Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's Final Part of Video. We're going to have a look at the weather next 10 to 14 days for today's Final Video. Day 10 will take us on the 16th of uh, April. We'll be able to extend out beyond that with the extended GFS and ECM ensembles. Very much around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at the CFS V2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. That will get us into the beginning of May. And I shall get on with that for you in a moment. <laughs> Just say that first. A video is saying 6 8 a.m upload and we've reached European Outlook as well so please check out those two bits if you would like to do that like share subscribe on the thank you so very much everybody uh for uh, doing that we are grinding uh, to <laughs> um, 15.8k subscribers, so if you could give us a sub, that'd be fantastic. Thanks so much, everybody, for doing that. I hope you have a lovely Thursday. It's been very showery today. Maundy Thursday, of course. Oh, wow, wow, wow. So, uh, good Friday tomorrow. I've got to get hot, <laughs> got to get hot cross buns in. Uh, for tomorrow, have a look at the towers. I don't know. I mean, you might do a little bit of podcasting, by the way, everyone. So I don't know if anyone want to hear a gas web well, podcast. I don't know anything about podcasting, really. But uh, YouTube has sort of uh, put in, uh, in where we upload the videos uh, behind the scenes in the channel. They put in like a little tab of podcasting. So it's got me investigating, you know, what it's all about. I mean, think I might... This side, I might do a little bit of podcasting and uh, perhaps invite a few guests on, but I don't know if anybody, <laughs> I doubt anybody would want to join me in a podcast. <laughs> so it might just be me sort of chatting away <laughs> to myself. But anyway, if you like to hear a Gals Webbins podcast uh, this summer, let me know, everyone, in the, uh, in the live. Uh, not in the live chat, it, it, what am I talking about? Uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, okay, let's start off with the video then. So uh, we're going to begin with uh, CT. So the temperature is currently standing at 7.3, which is 0.6 of a degree below average. That's provisional to uh, yesterday, to the 5th of April. A rather cool start to the month. These are a GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensemble. So let's go wait till it's Swansea. Today, oh dear, I should have refreshed that, should I really? <laughs> uh, what's happening there then? Uh, I just wanted to do a refresh just to make sure. I ah, there we go. Uh, that took a long time, didn't it? Um, yeah, we're at Swansea today. That's a heart in my mouth moment. Um, David, red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for Swansea. It's starting off a bow average at the moment. A little bit on the cool side. The upper air temperature will tick up a bit as we go into the east weekend, but it's only with an area of low pressure, really, but next week they uh, fall away for a, for a while. Now, into the second half of April, we have got a bit of a warming trend showing up, so it does look as though temperatures will be uh, lifting up through the third week of April. Could get quite warm, um, you know, maybe getting temperature towards 20 Celsius for the first time this year. That would be nice, uh, wouldn't it? There are reports that I'm seeing in some media outlets that it might get to 30 degrees. I'd be quite shocked if it got that hot in April. But, um, yeah, you know, 20 degrees might be possible there if it settles down enough through the third week of April. It is a way off, of course. So, precipitation wise, going to be a few days of drier weather uh, now. Um, but as we go into uh, the end of the Easter period, uh, really through next week, looks quite unsettled, that, doesn't it? Uh, lots of precipitation spikes coming through there through uh, next week, so it does look as though there will be uh, another spell of wet and windy weather. Maybe a drying trend then through the third week of April as the temperature begins to uh, lift up a little bit, though. Temperature anomaly is going to be set to the 14th of April. Going to be about to a little bit below average. Nothing to get excited about there. And precipitation anomaly is going to be set to the 14th of April. Average to a little bit wetter than average in uh, many parts of the country. Oh dear. Right, so the latest we've got from Earth, no school dot net shows we're building it, building in a ridge today. We're getting rid of one area of low pressure way to the east, more low pressures in the Atlantic. That will be with us by the end of the Easter weekend. But uh, for the next two, three days, we're going to be under this ridge of high pressure here heading in from the Atlantic, which will give us a window of drier weather. We see that very nicely here with the UK at Euro Run for midnight on Easter Sunday with high pressure over Scandinavia, low pressure out to the Atlantic. Bringing the winds from an east or south, east direction. It's mostly dry there 
uh, for Easter uh, for Easter Day. But we go from Easter uh, Sunday to Easter Monday. And in comes low pressure from off the Atlantic. And then next week, you set up a very unsettled spell, a deep dark board uh, of low pressure sweeping in through the middle part. Next week, brings lots of wet and windy weather, gale force winds possible uh, with that. And uh, looking very unsettled through the middle part of next week. I can't again with that area of high pressure giving way later on in the Easter weekend as the wet and windy weather comes in off the Atlantic. And there we get this dark board low sweeping in uh, through the middle next week. I think the central pressure of that uh, it's going to be going out around 9, 9.60, 9.55 middle bar, something like that. Very, very deep area of uh, low pressure being gale force winds, heavy rain. Uh, the delayed, sort of difficult spring of 2023 goes on uh, through uh, next week. Where did, the high, <laughs> where did the high pressure go? Remember, uh, like a week or so ago, he's talking about high pressure uh, for April. <laughs> where, did, where did that go? Um, look at this. Uh, low pressure right on top of the country there. Let's get to the end of the icon run, 13th April. And there's more low pressure areas downstream, implying that the unsettled weather will go on. The GFS Midnight Run, again, with high pressure to our uh, east and northeast on Easter Day. But it's a Monday, brings low pressure in from off the Atlantic. Then we go wet and windy for the middle part of next week. Vigorous area of low pressure, nasty little low there. And uh, more low pressure piling in from the Atlantic as we get to and beyond day 10. It's very unsettled with GFS midnight run. Late on, high pressure starts to build in. This is 20th of April, we're a long way out now. But high pressure starts to build in. Although it's got a cool ridge, uh, that so, so it won't bring a heat wave, but it does turn things a little bit drier later on in the third week of April. But it's a very long way off, and we've got a lot of unsettled weather to get out of the way before we get to that. GFS 6 says, again, showing that uh, low pressure coming in from off the Atlantic for Easter Monday. We keep more areas of low pressure in from the Atlantic through the middle part of next week, although we don't get that deep blow that the other models are showing um, through the middle part of next week. So the GFS 6 says doesn't show that, but it does show unsettled weather through the middle of next week. Heading up toward day 10 and beyond it, high pressure and starts building up from the southwest. I mean, this looks quite nice. This is a nice ridge building up from his north. It'll be warm air with that. That'll get us up to 20 Celsius for the first time this season, uh, I think. That'll get us to like 70 Fahrenheit, 21 Celsius, I think, with that ridge of high pressure, area of high pressure. However, we finish up turning cooler and then set again right at the very end. But at least we get about a week of, of, uh, of five to seven days of being dry and quite warm weather with that. Uh, if you enjoy the video, Please you like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Drop a comment. Let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Right, GM. Again, with uh, high pressure to our Easter, Easter day, but Easter Monday will bring low pressure in from off the Atlantic. Wind showers will lock the spells of rain. That's that vigorous area of low pressure, dark board low. For Wednesday next week, bring lots of wet and windy weather with it. And the unsettled weather then carries on all the way up to day 10 with low pressure never far away. And then the ECMWF looks like this again, high pressure. So over to the east of over and to the east of the country for Easter Sunday. That high pressure gives way through Easter Monday. Low, low pressure in Plot Atlantic. There's the dark board low. There's the dark board. Uh for the middle of next week, heavy rain gale for swings with that and further bouts of rain coming in off the Atlantic all the way up to day 10. Looking unsettled, particularly so for the north and the west with the EC today. Uh, this is a precipitation forecast based on that ECM run from Tometio.com. So we are going to get a couple of drier days tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday, three days of drier weather. Make the most of them. By the time we get through to Easter Monday, in comes the next batch of uh, wet and windy weather, bring a soggy end to the Easter weekend. And then after that, of course, is that bigger or slow, bring heavy rain, gale force winds, even some snow. No. Over high ground up north, um, with that one wintry showers packing in behind that band of wet weather showers with longer spells of rain. And uh, on and on it goes, another batch of heavy rain sweeping through there on the 14th of April. Where did the dry spell go? Where did the, where did the high, <laughs> high pressure go? I don't know, all the way up to day 10, we look very showery with that ECM run. Uh, right, these are the options on the table within the ECM ensembles today for day 10. There we go. 
from the Icelandic Met Office. This will get us to the 16th of April. 18 members of the ECO ensembles will unsettle with uh, low pressure in from the Atlantic. There's a bit of high pressure over France that possibly brings something a bit drier to the south. That includes the control and the operational run. We've got 12 members of the ECO ensembles, but stronger with the ridge. So that looks quite nice. That will bring drier and warmer conditions. 11 with high pressure over France, low pressure out to our north and west. That brings the most unsettled weather the most unsettled uh, weather conditions to the north and the west. The driest weather is down in the south. And then 10 with but low pressure heading in from off the Atlantic. That looks quite unsettled as well. So, you know, a bit of split there, isn't it? It's how strong that ridge of high pressure is building up from the south by bank. In two week time, these are the options that we've got. Gets us to the 21st of April, 21 members of the ECM ensembles with high pressure ridging up from the southwest. That should be turning being drier and uh, warmer. Winds in from the southwest. 20 with high pressure right over top of the coach. That looks very pleasant. And uh, then 10, a minority option to keep things unsettled to with low pressure in from off the Atlantic. But it should be a trend. Well, there is a trend here to turn things higher, high, to hot towards higher pressure um, in the third week of April, turning things drier and warmer. We have had this, you know, though last week for like this week. Um, so we need to stay cautious on it for now, I think. But we might get something a little bit dry and warmer for the third week of April. Let's wait and see. CFS Mitchy finally meets the 500, a bit of our height and dominance broken down into a week period. So, first week period takes us from the 6th to 12th of April, the coming week with lots of low pressure in the Atlantic Ocean. So, there will be a couple of dry days over east of it, basically quite unsettled. Week two will be the 13th to the 19th of April. High pressure reaching up from the southwest, low pressure being pushed out into the middle of the Atlantic. So it should be told things a little bit drier then and a little bit warmer too. Now, week three, <laughs> you're going to be attentive to the 6th of April with high pressure between Iceland and Scotland. Winds coming in from an east or a northeasterly direction with that mostly dry there. Uh, week four is the 27th of April to 3rd of May. High pressure pulls out to our west. And uh, it looks like low pressure is developing here through the north and the west of uh, Europe. Got a ridge over there. Um, so we get into the 8th of April, beginning of May. Things start turning unsettled again. However, there should be some dry weather before that. It's four weeks away, so it's not really worth worrying about. Right, we're done. If you enjoyed the video, please do like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much to do about it. Drop a comment. Let us know what you can think about this all of our videos. And don't get too friends about Gareth Webb. It's, it's amazing. It's incredible. And we thank you so much, everybody, for doing that for us. Right, I'll just tell you what. Coming up tomorrow, we're going to have the 6 a.m. upload. JMA Friday is on the way tomorrow as well, as long with the 10, 14 day um, to you. So uh, keep checking back to the channel for more. It's good Friday tomorrow, of course, but the content can be the same as a regular Friday. Um, so keep checking back to the channel for more. Thanks so very much, everybody, um, for uh, dinner. And uh, yeah, let me know if you'd like to hear Gav's or whether this podcast, and I shall look into the possibilities uh, with that and see, see you know, uh, what, what we can do. Uh, but maybe you will want that, so uh, if you won't be interested, then uh, I shan't bother. I don't think we shall see, though. Right, so enjoy the rest of your uh, Thursday for this for this one. That's all for now, and thanks so much.